That ought to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Your smartphone is your loyal sidekick, right? It's always there when you need something. When you need to look up that song lyric you can't remember. When you want to order tacos. When you want to take pictures of your tacos. And when you want to connect with your best buds over some tacos. But your phone is also a little spy in your pocket. It tracks your location and monitors your activities. All this tracking creates an alarmingly detailed data profile unique to you, your digital fingerprint. This huge haul of personal data feeds a booming business for companies and data brokers. Have you ever seen those ads that seem to read your mind? Like you're daydreaming about a trip to Barbados and then an ad for a Caribbean boat tour pops up? The ads aren't reading your mind, they're reading your data. But it's not just clever targeted marketing. All this stuff is your intellectual property and strangers are cashing in on it. Plus, artificial intelligence models use personal information for serious things, like deciding if someone gets health insurance, makes bail, or even gets into college. What? How dare they collect and use my private data without my permission? What? Wait, what's that? I gave them permission? Oh, right. But come on, privacy policies are hidden, complex, and a million words long. Studies have found that only one in five Americans say they always or often read privacy policies before agreeing to them. And only about 13% say they understand a great deal of the policies. Yet, when that accept button appears, we hit it because we got important things to do. Like we need that app right now to see what we'd look like as a cartoon. So we don't take time to opt out, but surely there are laws to protect us, right? Uh, not so much. There are a bunch of disparate laws that govern specific types of data, but there is no U.S. federal privacy law regarding the use of our general data. Then the states have it covered, right? Yeah, no. Fewer than half the states have comprehensive data privacy laws. So the phone isn't a spy after all. We're the ones who are freely giving up our data even though we know the risk, and we don't seem to mind that much. Am I wrong? Our personal information is simply the currency of this modern technological exchange. And there's no going back. It's part of what we literally signed up for. Now you can disable personalized ad tracking and explore settings and option menus to activate additional privacy measures. But here's the best hack to protect your private information. Step one, turn off your phone. Step two, smash it with a hammer. Step three, throw it in the ocean. But don't be surprised if an ad for a snorkel pops up in your email. No phone for thrown into the ocean in the filming of this video. Well, we did throw a phone into the ocean, but we got it out immediately. That thing costs like $1,000. All we're saying is don't be weird and throw phones, or anything for that matter, in the ocean. 